This is a demonstration of setting the latency compensation adjustment in Audacity under Windows 10. Latency is the difference between the time that Audacity plays a sound through, for instance, your headphones, and the time that a simultaneously recorded sound makes it from your microphone into Audacity and is stored. This latency difference becomes important when you're making multitrack recordings where you are playing one recording through your headphones and singing along while you record your second track. I'm going to go into the edit menu and to preferences and I'm going to clear out the default 100 millisecond latency compensation that comes out of the box when you install Audacity. I'm also going to go into the recording menu and I'm going to check the record on a new track option which will allow me to use the record button one-handed to record a new track rather than having the recording appended to the current track. I'm going to generate a rhythm track and I'm going to have it create two bars of short ping sounds. And now I'm going to hold my headset earphone next to the microphone while I record and play that track. Okay, and you see the difference in time left to right between the pings that are recorded on the second track and the pings that were played from the first track. That difference is the latency. So I'm going to use Control-1 to zoom in and get a pretty large display of those click sounds. And I'm going to measure the difference between the start of the original track's click and the start of the recorded track's click. And I'll do that by selecting from the beginning of that click to the beginning of the click on the second track. When you select a section of audio in Audacity, at the bottom of the screen you get a start and length of selection display. And here we see the length of my selection is 179 milliseconds. And that is my latency adjustment that I'll need to make to when I record future tracks have this sound up here aligned with the original played sound. So I'll go back into the edit menu in preferences and on that devices panel I'm going to enter negative 179 milliseconds. And I'm going to close that track. I'm going to use control 3 to zoom back out so we can see the click track. I'm going to go to the beginning of it. And again, I'm going to hold my headset near the microphone while I play and record. And as you can see, these are fairly well lined up now. You may need to do this a couple of times. Um, if you are a couple of milliseconds off, it probably will not make much difference uh, in your recording. Um, as system load changes on the processor and I.O. devices, if other software is running in the background, you may get variations in the latency of a couple of milliseconds one way or the other over time. Um, generally, those aren't going to make much difference to you. And that is all there is to adjusting the latency compensation in Audacity under Windows 10.